Hello everybody, welcome back to Sarah Plays Icket Claw in Immortal Empires. And if you watched the last one, you'll know that my battle against the vampire counts went horribly yes, wrong. No, yes. So I think what I want to do, but so what I was going to do is I was going to come back in the settlement and not control large army and then have it be so the Icket Claw starts the battle instead of the garrison and I can set up right away instead of being like the reinforcements. That was my plan. But now I'm wondering if I should just, like, should I try to tank this out or should I go back to Altdorf where I have a bigger garrison? Oh boy, because they're going to take Kemper bad. I mean, that's, that goes without saying. They're going to take Kemper bad. I just have, like, there's so much... I'm going to be fighting these vampire Such counts for the rest of my life. I will not. Never. And there was the one that I thought was rough. Yeah, this one. These crypt horrors are so fast. Okay, so I guess what I'll do. Bear with me on this. Please bear with me because I want to make this work. I am going to level these guys up because I... I uh, forgot that I had done that after last time. I don't remember what I spent these points on. Um, I gave him Trixie. Did I give him Quartermaster? I may have. Is there anything better, though? Income from looting, dictatorial. Dictatorial. Corruptive. Bonded service. Uh... I'll do one of each of those across. And then I think I did something like that. I'm not really sure. Like, this is going to be completely different because I don't remember. But I think you got, Bail Quint got all of his stuff up here. So I'll put some of these down here. Science. Sorcery. Yeah, I really don't use their spells. I should be saving their spells for other things. Okay, and then I guess I'll just go oh, like that. Okay. All right, so my army is still, my plague, plague priests are still a little beat up, but that's okay. I'm going to stay in this garrison. And then, like I said, I don't remember what all happened with all these dudes. So we're just going to replay this turn, pretend like the other one never even happened. Uh... And then we have Arkling the Lethal. Continue on your merry way. Rat Surge. I'm going to have you just straight ambush. Yeah, straight ambush. Oh, you got the gift of Slanesh. Interesting. Okay. And then I don't remember if I had any diplomacy options. Peace. I know. That would be the easy way out. And I don't want to do the easy way out. Except I'm having struggles here now with Vlad. So. <sighs> okay. Wish me luck. Because I think this is going to be another big battle. But I hope that this is going to go the way that I want it to go. I just really need to minimize casualties. Because I'm going to just keep getting hit by army after army after army. So they're all force marched. You see, well, not all of them, but like a bunch of them are force marched and they're coming right after me. Alright, so he wanted me to go to war with Bretonia. I'm not doing that yet, Grom. Okay, here we go. Okay, so Valiant Defeat. These are different armies, I feel like, than what came at me before. Holy Vargeists, though. Oh my gosh. Is this the same map? 
It is. Same map. I want to control large army. Not control large army. And then get my food. Do I need that much? I think I'll stick with eight. And then we will fight this battle and see. So if I did this right, I'm setting up Ickit's army. The reinforcements will come in as mine route off the map or die, which hopefully we don't have either of those. And I will be able to set up. And I think this is better. This army still does scare me, though. The black coach, every single time I've fought and they've had black coaches, it's like... <laughs> just pummeled into my rattling guns because I don't kill them fast enough, so. Alright, same old, same old we're using this corner because it seems to work pretty well for me, so. And then I'm just gonna line everybody up the way that I have them show up in my lineup. Can you imagine if I just fought the battle like this? <laughs> that would be really funny. Okay, so everybody's moving. So... I think that's what I want to do. And then Oh, I need to be more intentional about this. This one can go over here. This one can go back here. This one can go back here. And then rattling guns. Okay, warlock engineer. I'm going to pass back here and here. My packmasters are pretty good. The plague priest, well, I may need this guy over here in case they decide to come charge at me from this side. And Ike Claw is kind of like over here somewhere. All right, so let's see. So they got hex wraiths coming on this side, it looks like. Oh, the majority of their army is coming this way. Right, make it over here. Basically, their whole army. Okay, slow it down. Oh, they've got their army coming that way, too. All right. So, the warp lightning cannon, I need to be aiming at the hex wraiths. They are large. Actually, I guess, well, the Karen wraiths are not large. Okay, so they have a ton of Vargeists this army.
Okay, and then the play claw catapults are not quite in range yet. And then we've got a Vargolf, too. I've got to keep an eye on that guy. So the mortars are doing re really good. Okay, hold up. I need to get my Jezails in order here. So these two are on this side. These two are on this side. Jezails are running out of ammo already. Hopefully those Vargais, once they hit the rattling gun line, will not last very long. That is the hope, at least. Black Coach. Alright, I need something up against the Black Coach. Okay. Okay, so they died really fast. So we've got Graveguard. These guys are gonna hit me! Nope, there. No, okay, okay. use too many winds of magic but I need a stopgap. Black Knights, Hex Wraiths. Vargolf is dying. Where did the black coach go? Did it die? I'm gonna move this guy kind of off to the side. These guys are crumbling. These guys are good binding. It says not for long. Hopefully. Okay, so their lord is right there. Okay, so I'm going to turn fire at will off. Not skirmish mode. Okay, so we got more of our guys coming in. Alright, they are crumbling dead. I'm gonna I'm gonna have it get draw this guy back into the rattling gun formation. All right, so we got us uh, some Vargeist and the next Lord coming in. So I'm gonna turn these guys back on fire at will. Not skirmish, fire at will. I did that last time. Okay.
All right, so they also have a bar gold. Okay, so two bar gulfs this time. And the Lord. Uh oh. Okay, hold up. I gotta get Howling Warp Gale on these guys, or they're gonna kick my butt. It gets got to get after this guy, but then we also have these guys coming through. Hopefully they can shoot through. Actually, I'll have the rattling guns go after them, and then the Jezails go after these guys, and then I'm going to pop off the reload skill buff on that side. I think that's on that side, yeah. Have him come over and assist. Oh shoot, oh shoot. That hurt, that hurt just a wee bit. Ow, my rattling guns, oof. That was bad, bad news bears. I wish I could heal. All right, so I think this is the last bit coming in. These should be okay. Crumbling army losses, okay. Yeah. Shoot, this one rattling gun unit. Gross. I was hoping to not have that happen, but it is what it is. My pack master is regenerating. Crumbling, but not fast enough. Oh, there they go. Okay. So that wasn't too bad, other than these guys took a beating. Alright, there we go. Good deal. Is there more? Okay. Close victory apparently was not decisive. Don't know what needs to happen for it to be decisive, but it was not decisive. So I lost eight units, eight rats in my rattling gun, so could be worse. But I'm sure right after these guys, there's going to be a whole nother swarm. Because his turn's not done yet. So we're going to get done with that. We're probably going to go right back into another battle. And there's that one army that has all those crypt horrors that makes me nervous. Because I think that's the one I had trouble with before. Okay, so I can heal my rattling guns up, so that's good. And they still have some of their Vargais and stuff that stinks. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is bad though, because now they're going to be sieging me, and I really don't want to fight. A settlement battle. Oh my word. Can Icket hold out? Chief Warlock, Icket Claw. 
Okay, so this is this guy, that army, that army, that army. So there's the army that I don't like. <laughs> Although I could just fight this lightning strike one at a time. And maybe that's the better way to handle this is just lightning strike it. But also fight it because I don't want to take any damage. I, I, I want zero damage from this. So I'm going to lightning strike these. So I apologize. This is probably going to be a lot of little battles if I'm allowed to do them this way. But this will ensure that I win. <laughs> and really, uh, oh shoot, now I'm on the opposite side of the map, aren't I? I don't know if that works as much in my favor. Um... It's probably not the best, but if I set up like here. Like, I think my rattling guns by themselves will be okay with this. Probably could put my rattling guns right here, even. This is a better spot now that I see where they're at. And then all my heroes and stuff I'll have like in the front. Probably should just sit off to the side other than Ikit Claw. have like my warlock engineers over here and then it get, can be here okay okay so i want the lightning cannon I can shoot the var guys this var gulf is being actually i'm gonna have them shoot at the var gulf I'll have Icket Claw come out a little bit, try to draw some fire. Okay. Okay, and then these two guys. Actually, no. I want you to fire at this. I'm glad that ammo is replenished in between fights. Actually, I probably don't even need it to go in there. Clan rats are going to get utterly wiped out. <laughs> okay. Alright, so another one down. And then we'll have bigger armies that are also going to siege, probably.
these small battles, I could do these all day. The bigger battles really, really take it out of me. So I didn't take casualties, food and experience, I mean, for one turn. Sure, I don't know. All right, so they backed off. They also backed off. So we're going to get hit hard next time. But hopefully that means I will be fully replenished. I did level up so it is fully loaded. Ready to go. What should I give him, though? Another mentor. I don't know if I care about that so much. Uh, Warp Lightning Scorch. Cracks Call. I'll give him another ambush defense chance. Why not? I like this plot. <laughs> Five points for mechanic gear. These guys are just like leveling up so fast. Three for Bale Quint. And then I guess I'll just, I'll give you specialist. Oh, actually I could give you. No, I don't want that. That'd be really bad if I chose that one. I'll give you the last overseer, some extra... Okay, we'll do it this way. Where are my schematics? I mean, I may as well get this, but I don't have these units, so it's useless. So I guess I'll wait and see if I use up my points on everything else. Fervor, weapon strength, tenacity, hit points, soothsaying. Go with hit points because you guys are the tanks. Now, now. Uh, hard to hit melee defense, also good. Oh, and then this guy leveled up. Good for you. Uh, I'm going to give you Howling Warp Gale so that you can stop people from flying. Okay, Ikit Claw has not moved. I do not want Ikit Claw to move. Ikit Claw is going to stay right there and Arkling is... I feel like Heinrich is... Oh no, he, he backed off. Well, this guy, my newly formed Arkling, is going to take Helmgart. And close victory with medium casualties. Is this a settlement battle? Oh yeah, it's a siege battle. I'm gonna circle. Because I don't want to fight a siege battle and I don't think they should take medium casualties for that. Rat surge. Oh my guys doing good on loyalty. You're not so much, but you'll be fine. Um... So I'm going to take Garer. Is this still my territory? Up to like this point. I'm going to take Garer out. I'm going to put Rat Surge at Montfort. And then Garer is going to see if he can go after Bastone. Got to go up this direction. So then if I can plug these two holes with my guys, we'll have a much better shot. And Heinrich is down to his last few territories. And then from that point... We're going to have to go after Sylvania. So it looks like Scrag has sort of been doing some stuff with Sylvania over here, but not a ton. So we're going to probably have to push that that way. All right. So then I got to move Arkling the lethal. So we got us moors over here with Queek. All right. And this is top knots. Top knots. Where are the top knots? Are they a no name faction? Must be. A rogue faction? Oh, savage orcs. Oh, yeah, they're not really that important. Okay, and then let's get our. Everywhere I can build a better garrison, I want to. Reichland's already building another garrison. This one. This this might be good. 
Which I've got lots of money. I don't know why I'm like picky choosy, but. And then control is doing much better. So control was bad here. It's still not great, but it's not going down. So that's a positive. World Walkers Military Alliance. Yeah, let's go for it. Your demeanor tells me you aren't here to do. I'll see it through. Chieftain too. Okay. And yes. now Archaon's like, sure, we'll be friends. He's like, I've been so impressed at like the devastation that you're wreaking down there. It is like It's just like the end times. Okay. Outpost upgrade. Yeah, why not? All right, so that's probably going to be it for this one, but we'll we have a couple of places we're going to have to keep an eye on. This is a big one. This battleground here is going to be big. Let's see what they throw at me this time. Probably four full stacks. I've had some armies that have been just a few units here or there, but they've got some big ones that are right on my doorstep. And if I can just continue to fight on the same map, I can do this. It's just if they throw me a, a different map, it's going to be rough. All right, here we go. Oh, Manfred, are you declaring war on me, Manfred? Oh, no, we're becoming friends. Not aggression pact. Why not, Manfred? Why not? Okay, so now we got Kemler coming back with reinforcements. Hmm. I am not as familiar with this army. So this army isn't that scary to me. This army, the garrison's not too bad. Heinrich's army isn't too bad. I might try this. I might try this. But I can't this time. So I'm going to save it here, everybody. And then we're going to try a different type of battle with Arkling and see if I have the stuff to take out Kemmler and some reinforcements. So hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I hope you guys will come back and see me in the next one.